Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I'm an environmental lawyer helping people understand California environmental laws. There's an old saying that if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. That's a theme I'm seeing a lot lately. Potential property buyers and investors are rightfully afraid of entering into what seems like a great deal because they have a fear that they're missing something and it's not such a good deal after all. I was talking to an investor who was having an internal struggle because on one hand, he was thinking about buying a gas station property and he knew that gas stations can be problematic. On the other, he'd checked out this property as well as he could and he thought it was a good risk. During our conversation, I realized there was at least one other obvious resource that he hadn't known about. Now, the good news was that it checked out too and didn't show any obvious problems with this property. So that helped him put another check mark in the low risk side of his calculations. If you're looking to buy a commercial or industrial property or any property located near commercial or industrial businesses, here are a few easy ways for you to gauge the possible risk of an environmental problem and future legal liabilities. First, there are online databases that allow you to look up a property or business to see whether they're covered under active permits, have been suspected of having environmental problems, and whether they're under the oversight of a government agency. Now, unfortunately, you're going to have to check each of these websites individually because they don't cross-reference each other. Next, government agencies are subject to the Public Records Act and Freedom of Information Act. If there are documents that you can't find online, you could write to that governmental entity to find out more about the regulatory history for that property. Third, once you've decided to engage in a possible deal, obviously the disclosures and due diligence process will provide information. But if you've seen my videos on the phase one and phase two process, you know that they don't always tell the full story. Which leads me to my fourth tip, which is to contact a consultant or lawyer to help you issue spot. They may have insights based upon the geographic region, the industry, the property history, or other factors that will help point you in the right direction and help you understand whether it's likely to be a good deal or too good to be true. If you want someone to help you spot those issues, give you a referral to a good consultant, or if you want more information about any of the tips I just gave you, give us a call.